From gorgeous Seattle, Washington, I'm Blake Suniga. Rounding out the broadcast team are Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi. We're glad to have you with us. A look now while we have a moment. Let's take a look at our five starters for each team. Feels like the five spot could determine the outcome of this game. Yeah, we're talking about two great centers with uh, a lot of versatility to their games. And both players affect winning at both ends. Should be a terrific matchup. Now here's Bird, screened by Magbagor. Bird outside. There's the triple. Wesley with the rebound. Here's Brown. Here's Canada. Can't cash in the 10 foot jumper. Seattle with the ball. Pass to Bird. Lloyd. And here's Jackson. Guarded by Canada. Shot clock at five. Jackson gets the bucket. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. And we're about one minute into the first. Now here's Brown. Tight defense on her. Now here is Canada. Back to Brown. Ogumake sets a screen. Out to the wing. Here's Leslie. The three-pointer off the mark. Seattle with the ball. Here's Bird. Good on the triple. Knowing where everyone else is on the court. It's a skill Lloyd has, and it's a vital skill to have for guards who really want to be successful in this league. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Ogun McKay outside. Back to Canada. Leslie defended by Magdagor. Ogun McKay outside. Canada. From deep three-point range. The Sparks no good that time either. Got us with the ball. Ogun McKay picks her up. Now Bird. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Pass to Jackson. Tries yet again. And that's two points on the layup. He got caught standing around that time and giving up the second chance points. They need more effort than that on the boards. That can't happen. Absolutely. Now here is Ogumake. Ogumake up top. Ogumake with the ball. Looking to end the run. Oh, shot by Brown. No good. Here's Laney. Rebound by the Sparks. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Ogumake outside. Pass to Canada. Leslie defended by Magdavor. Here's Leslie. Doesn't get it to drop for her. And Laney, here we go. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Love that hoop from Laney. Putting the onus on the D. Taking it right to the rack. The Sparks trailing. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Timeout called the Sparks.
on defense, Seattle. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. And they pick up two. Nice little jumper from Canada. She plays so fast, but still shoots it with impressive focus. Well, when you're talking about point guards, you love getting assists and steals. Jordan Canada provides both. Canada's had a season where she's led the league in steal percentage, top five in assist percentage, and five six is excellent in terms of on the ball defense, uh, kind of guarding the point of attack. And you love having her run your offense. Now here is Lloyd. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. And the three ball is good. Well, they couldn't have dreamed a much better start they've had here tonight. Yeah, they came in with a tremendous offensive game plan. It's worked perfectly, and what a lead they already have to show for it. And you got to give credit to this coaching staff as well. They came into this game prepared perfectly. Bird outside. Pass to Carrington. Lloyd. Carrington with the screen. Here's the three. And it's Lloyd missing. Ten points separating the teams. Canada with it. Ogum McKay outside. Over Carrington. That one's in. Her first basket of the game. She is one for two. Heads up by Agumake to find her teammate. She draws so much attention, it can lead to easy buckets for others. And here is Bird. Pass to Jackson. He made that one. Basket number three for her, and she's also missed two. Huge advantage for them already. Total control, and as well as they're playing at both ends, I'd look for this lead to get even bigger. Absolutely. Now the Sparks with it. Ogumake outside. Over Carrington. And it's Ogumake missing. Bird outside. Now here is Goddess. Now here's Carrington. She hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Six on the shot clock. Gets it to go. Scoring inside. Lloyd able to do it despite being under six feet. Here's Brown. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Warren Canada drives in. Ogumake. And she's good on the three ball. Seattle leading. Pass to Carrington. Lloyd. Let's the three fly. Leslie with the rebound. You don't want to give up that kind of look often. They're very lucky they didn't get burned. Ogumake outside. Ogumake, that's good. You see how comfortable Ogumake is inside. No, she can get any shot she wants there. Pass to Magdagore. Lloyd. The left wing. Block at six. Screen by Goddess. Bird. Gets a three-pointer to fall. Such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Outside Canada. From deep. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And an overpowering first quarter effort. Already a double digit advantage. It's the storm leading by 10. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. Not exactly a neck-and-neck -neck game, but as the second quarter starts, there is plenty of time for a comeback. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Storm? Simple. Defense, 
defense, defense so far, and they have really clamped up. Say it one more time, Tim. Defense? Defense. Every shooter that challenges their defense has had a hand in their face. Outside, Stevens. Ogumake. Here's Clarendon. The basket good off the assist from Neko Gumake. Recognizing the defense's miscues and capitalizing on them, that's part of what makes a Gumake so special. Right there, she's able to find someone wide open. Now here's Williams. He heard right side. Pass to Harris. Back to Hebert. Over Collier. Rebound by the Sparks. Well, for what's a routine shot, she looked a little nervous on that release, wouldn't you say? Clarendon, no good. Outside Lloyd. And we play through the first minute here in the second. Here's Williams. And again, Seattle with the triple. Now Clarendon, pass to Allen. Now Collier. Makes it off the glass. With fantastic touch around the rim. Collier, automatic down low. Here's Lloyd. There, leading by eight. Ebert outside. Lloyd. And we're a little over a minute and a half into this second quarter of action. That one drops for him. Well, that pick, it worked like a charm. A nice job taking it right to the tin for the layup. Allen with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Clarendon. Another three for the Sparks. Coach has to be furious. Obviously, a defensive lapse there. She is automatic from deep. If, if you leave her wide open, big mistake. Now here is Lloyd. He has five. Harris can't hit. You can tell she thought that triple was going to fall. She's just shaking her head after that miss. And the ball out of play. The storm will have it. <laughs> Here's Lloyd. Laney outside. Lloyd. Back to Laney. Outside dirt. The three-pointer off the mark. Personally, I am shocked that didn't turn into three points. She makes you pay on those nearly every time. Pass to Canada. Over Lloyd. And Laney pulls it down. Here's Lloyd. Durr. Outside Lloyd. Now here's Laney. She's guarded by Stevens. Lloyd with the bucket. As a defense, you can't let that happen. You know, let Lloyd step into a jumper. Too deadly to allow the catch and shoot. Now here is Agumake. Pass to Canada. Horston. Outside Stevens. Six to shoot. Back to Agumake. Got it. He's now three for five from the field. And when you watch a WNBA game, what do you guys think about the current state of play? I love it. You know, we're in this small ball era, so we've seen the pace and three-point shooting go way up. There's just much better spacing on the floor these days. And I think the fans love it, too. Everybody wants to see points, and we're in the best offensive era in league history. Now here's Laney. Fades and shoots. Neko Bumake pulls it in. Now here is Canada, guarded by Dolson. And here's Canada. Here's Ogumake, 
and a great assist by Jordan Canada, and that one falls in. You know, quite simply, few players make better decisions than Jordan Canada. Obviously, the right choice there. Now a timeout, timeout called timeout. by Seattle. And when you ask her peers, Sorry. Neko Ogumike might be one of the most respected players around the league. A longtime president of the Players Union, Neka has done wonders for the game as a player and representative. Gumake's legacy will be about you know, what you did on the floor, but also a lot about what you did off the floor for this game. Much improvement in terms of passing the ball for Dalton. She came into the league at about an assist per game, and she has tripled that rate. The Sparks trailing. Here's Canada to the middle. Here's Leslie. Ebert pulls it in. Now here's Bird, guarded closely. Pass to Dolson. Laney with it. She's covered by Brown. Laney, good. When you talk about Laney, she's so versatile in how she gets her points. So it's the Sparks now. Now here is Canada. Ball's knocked loose. Bird with the steal. To the paint. Here's Jackson. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Oh, man, she is so good at making those lead passes. Outside Canada. Baseline try. The Sparks no good that time either. And here are the Storm now. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Ebert outside. Launches it. Not going to go that time. Now Brown, looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to hole. Down low. Here's Leslie. Hits the jump hook. Nice ball movement from Hole. Terrific at recognizing when her teammates are open. And here are the Storm now. And here is Hebert. Laney outside. Now here is Goddess. Misses the three. Even without that three ball dropping for her, the defense should have done way more on that last play. Yeah, I and mean, then the D's got to be better as a coach. You can't stand seeing her having that much space to get her shot off. Good call there. Her feet still moving when she set the screen. And she sort of lowered her shoulder into her two. A move you perfected, actually, but... They were going to get her there one way or the other. Outside Lloyd. Back to Bird. Oh! And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good, and she'll go to the line. Bird. So it's the Sparks now. It's a 13 point game. It's a four second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Brown. Back to Canada. Clock at four. Off target from outside. Tries it from 16. 
And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And the first half now in the books. It's the Storm. They lead by 13 and will return shortly. Welcome back to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the final two quarters. We've seen Goddess really having a great game here. She broke out her entire arsenal of post moves in the first half, and every one of them was working. Yeah, and I'm going to call her the magician because I think she might have even a few more tricks up her sleeve, and I think she's going to break them out as we start heading down the stretch. And welcome back as we begin the second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, but anything can happen. Oku McKay outside. Oku McKay inside. Got her with the pump fake, just couldn't finish. Pass to Lloyd. Goddess with the ball from the wing. Good. He hits the jumper. He's carrying a lot of the load offensively, and normally that's good news for them. Canada with it. Oka McKay outside. And stolen by Laney. Pass to Jackson. Lloyd. Here's Laney. Outside Lloyd. Here's Bird. Drills it from outside. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Now here is Canada to the inside. Here's Ogumake. Yes, and it's Shanae Ogumake picking up the assist. Unselfish basketball on the interior. That's the kind of pass a coach loves to see. And they've been really controlling this one. Never want to get too complacent, though. Pass to Jackson. And 
so she draws the foul on the shot. Yeah, trick to the line to shoot two. Second it's on Shanae Ogumake. With the offense getting right to the rim, at least they save the layup. That's some old school defense. Just telling them no easy layups. As simple as that. And I like to see it. First one falls for her. And good on the second, so she makes both. And when we talk about a team going through a rebuild, what's important? Bit of an obvious answer, but you just have to hit your draft picks. The best way to acquire franchise-level talent is through the draft. So you better nail your picks. And in that same vein, you know, luck is a key factor. Winning the lottery helps. But, but also, who is the number one pick? Is it a player like Asia Wilson who can change the course of your franchise? Or is it someone who is more of a role player? That, that's beyond team's control. Now here's Bird. 18 points separating the teams. And that's the biggest lead of the game. Boy, with the bucket. It's been all one-way traffic here. Is they've really been lights out offensively, and there's no telling how big that lead's gonna get. It just keeps increasing. So it's the Sparks now, and the Sparks call time, time here. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes pass. Inside. Out to Agumake. And she's going for the oop here. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw her teammate with a path to the hoop and bang. Lobbed it right up there for her. And she was ready for it. Elevated and made the catch. And chose the conservative finish with the nice easy layup. Tim, you did that a lot, but not because uh, of uh, being conservative, more so because you couldn't really dunk. Not quite enough defense that time around. Lucky she was off. I just hope that was a mistake by the D, because if that's how they plan to start her, they're going to have serious problems. And the incredible strength of Agumake able to take contact and still sink the shot. And with Neko Gumake, she is always a threat to post a double-double. Yeah, she can really score it. And she hits the glass with a fury. She's also an excellent passer, giving her Find a complete length. game. Find the length. Real shot. Players have won a WNBA regular season MVP and a championship in the same season. Agumake is special. Now here is Lloyd. He's got 11. Laney outside. Shoots. Leslie with the rebound. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Okay, outside. Back to Canada. 
Five on the clock. Pass to Allen. She tries for three. Buries the long-range jumper. When you've got somebody that open on the perimeter, the kick out is the only choice. Here's Lloyd. And here's Jackson. Magnador. Up top bird. Beyond the arc. That one is good. She has missed only one of her six shots from the floor. Well, I think she, she owes the three-pointer dinner because it's been her best friend today, no question. Well, it has been today anyway. I mean, look, most of her points have been courtesy of the deep ball. Now here's Agumake. Oh, Agumake, that's good. More points for Neka, And the best part about her offensive game, she makes more shots than she misses. Outside Lloyd. Laney. Back to Lloyd. Four on the shot clock. Puts up a three. They get the rebound. The second chance effort. And the layup is up and in. That rebound and the follow, it shows you what she's all about. Ready, determined, time out, time and a out. soft touch for Mac. Timeout called the Sparks. Stevens. Pass to Clarendon. Now here is Canada. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Here's Bird. Guarded by Canada. Bird outside. Outside Lloyd. Drops in the tray. And they are just killing them with the three-point shot here in the second half. Yeah, and the defense knows it. They are fully stretched out there trying to stop the three and still haven't been able to do yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know defensively what they can do different at this point. Now here is Canada. Shot clock at six. Back to Clarendon. Takes the three. The three-pointer is on target. Three's going down quickly at both ends. What an answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. Here's Bird. It's a 16-point game. Pass to McVigore. To the paint. Jackson. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Outside Clarendon. Outside Canada. Again, the Sparks good for two. That's an agile move by Canada with the ball, completely throwing off the defense. Pass to Jackson. Screen by Goddess. That kick out to Bird. And now Jackson. Lloyd. Goes up, high post. At basket number six for her stat sheet. She's now six for ten. Working over this defense. Lloyd can beat you from all three levels. Outside Canada. Here's Clarendon. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Storm out in front, up by 16. And after a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter.
Welcome back. Fourth quarter of action starting up in what has been a one-side show. And here is Lloyd. Screen by Goddess. Laney. Let's it go from deep. And the storm, another three. A wing who will stretch the floor. Laney very effective from beyond the arc. Pass to Allen. Here's Ogumake. From the arc. Lloyd grabs the board. And here's Laney. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Fires the three. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. The sick handles of Lloyd. It works well in the two-player game. It puts defenders into a tough spot. Now here is Abumake. Outside Clarendon. Six to shoot. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. Oh, there's a lot of speed in this game, but who do you guys think is the fastest player in the league? Well, when you ask players around the league, they say Danielle Robinson. The vet plays with just incredible pace, and defensively, it feels like she is everywhere. And 5'6", Jordan Canada is a blur, incredibly quick, and does a great job of breaking down defenders on the bounce. Free throw is good. That's also good, so she hits them both. We played just over a minute here in the fourth quarter. Bird outside. Pass to Lloyd. Back to Heber. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. You know, sometimes you forget basketball is a team game. You have so much emphasis on the individual. But to a player like Jewel Lloyd, she's a great team player. Sets up the bucket there. And the Sparks call time here. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock in it. Left side, Canada. Doesn't go for her. Good work defensively by Stephanie Dolson. Now here's Laney. She's guarded by Stevens. Pass to Lloyd. There's the three. And the storm, another three. A big lead becomes bigger. They are playing with purpose, guys. And that goes for both ends of the floor. They've been controlling the action everywhere. Just dominant. Now 
now here is Stevens. Here's Hole. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. A textbook feed to Hull, who was all set up, ready to shoot. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Time called here. The Storm decide to talk it over. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it. Pass to Magbagor. Williams with it from deep. That shot, no good. Canada with it. Williams there, and she makes that one. Very clever passing. She put that ball on a silver platter for her. And here are the storm now. Here's Williams. Lady outside. Out of bounds, it'll be the Sparks ball. So both teams making some changes here. Around three minutes gone by here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Allen. Now here's Collier. Over Hebert. And so she earns a trip to the line. Uh, official saw the contact. And she'll shoot two. It's going to go on Ruthie Hebert. It's one of the highlights of Collier's game. Finding ways to get fouled and get free throws. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. This is the free throw. Born in Texas, Charlie Collier went to college in Texas and was taken first overall by, of course, the Dallas Wings, starting her pro career in Texas. Good on the second free throw. And this could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. What a performance it's been. Bird outside. Jackson. Pass to Lloyd. Laney. She's covered by Ogumake. Shot clock at three. Knocked away. Now here is Canada. Here's Brown. And a great assist by Jordan Canada, and that one falls in. A confident shooter from deep. When Brown finds just a little space in the perimeter, she wastes no time firing away. Now Bird. Pass to Jackson. 
Canada with it. Here's Collier. Here's Ogumake. For the basket. Her eight. Eight for 13 from the floor. That's a heads-up play there on offense. The pump fake cleared the way for the nice layup. They're really on back foot at this point. Yeah, at both ends of the floor. Things are just not going their way. Pass to Magbador. Lloyd. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. You have to make sure your feet are set. And when you set those screens, or they'll get you for it. I thought maybe she was set. Now, I know that's a difficult call to make, but I think maybe they got that one wrong. Now here is Canada. On the wing, Neko Gumake. Back to Canada. Ogumake sets a screen. Canada with it. Guarded now by Laney. And that one's good. Ogumake. Oh, really, guys, it's been an exceptional performance from her from the field. Bird outside. Pass to Magbagor. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two Bird. Now Lloyd. She's covered by Brown. Back to Bird. Just five to shoot. And here's Magbagor. And here's Jackson. She's covered by Abunike. Jackson, no good. And here's Canada. Abunike, right side. Pass to Brown. Takes the three. The basket good off the assist from Neko Abunike. You just can't let Brown get her feet set. Shoot comfortably off the pass. She will bury those all night. Screen by Magdagore. To the middle. Out to Lloyd. Here's Jackson. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Shanae Ogumake. That's her third foul of the game. Yeah, close, but she didn't get on balance quickly enough. And as quick as players are at this level, your anticipation has to be perfect defensively to draw the charge. It, 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 you're right. It's so hard. Now here is Lloyd. Bird outside. Magdagor. Just five on the clock. Trying to get back on track. Bird no good. Yeah, the great shooters, they know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice there. Yeah, not very good defensive coverage that time. The team got lucky. Back to Brown. Let's go with a three. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Pass to Laney. Out to Lloyd. Back to Laney. Jacks up a three. Echo Gumake pulls it in. I think that deficit's too much to overcome. You nailed it, Tim. There just isn't enough ticks on the clock. Yeah, yeah. Get the bus going, get the plane going, whatever. Here's Bird. This was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them. Yeah, they faced some challenges, but held firm when they needed to. Defensively, offensively, effectively locking down the W. That'll do it for our broadcast, everyone.